Did you know that during the Viking Age, every free Norseman was required to own weapons and was permitted to carry them at all times? Fascinating, isn't it? The Viking culture placed an immense importance on weaponry. It was not just about the utility of these tools in battle, but they were also a symbol of freedom, honor, and social standing. Every free Norseman was expected to own and carry weapons. Whether they were a farmer or a noble, the weapons were an essential part of their identity. The most basic ensemble for a Viking included a spear, a wooden shield, and either a battle axe or a sword. The average farmer would likely be limited to a spear, shield, and perhaps a common axe or large knife. The spear, a simple yet effective weapon, was the most common among the Vikings. Easily produced and incredibly versatile, the spear was the weapon of choice for many. Alongside the spear, the wooden shield was a crucial defensive tool used to parry and block enemy attacks. The battle axe, often considered the normal weapon for middle-class Vikings, was not just a weapon of war. It also served as a common tool used for chopping wood and other daily tasks. It was a symbol of the hard-working, resourceful Viking. And then there was the sword, the symbol of high status and nobility. Swords were costly and often used for decorative purposes rather than battle. The Viking Age sword was typically for single-handed use, often combined with a shield. The hilts of these swords were often elaborately decorated, reflecting the owner's wealth and status. Owning a sword was a matter of high honor, and these prized possessions were often passed down through generations. Knives, too, were commonly used by Vikings. There were two distinct types, the nifa, a single-edge knife used by all, and the seax, a heavier knife used as a machete or falchion-like arm. So it's clear that weapons were an integral part of Viking life, not just for battle, but also as a symbol of social status. But what about the specifics of these weapons? Let's delve deeper. But before we continue, if you're enjoying our historical journey and want to support our channel, please give this video a thumbs up. And to delve deeper into the fascinating world of history with us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Vikings were not only warriors, but also skilled craftsmen. Their weapons were a testament to their skill and artistry. Undeniably, Viking weapons were not just tools for battle, but also works of art, reflecting the meticulous craftsmanship and attention to detail of their creators. The Viking swords, for instance, were often formed through a process known as pattern welding. This involved twisting and hammering together iron rods, resulting in a blade with a distinctive pattern of light and dark metal. For the wealthier Viking, swords could also be made from a single piece of high-quality steel, a rare and valuable commodity in those times. But what truly set Viking swords apart were their hilts. These were often exquisitely decorated with intricate designs carved into the handle and pommel, demonstrating the high level of skill and artistry of Viking craftsmen. The Viking axe was another weapon that showcased the craftsmanship of its creator. Unlike the sword, the axe was a common tool among the Vikings, used not only in battle but also in their daily lives. Yet even these utilitarian weapons were not without their artistry. Battle-specific axes, such as the Dane axe, were larger and required both hands to wield. The heads of these axes were often inlaid with silver designs, transforming a simple tool into a striking weapon. It is the attention to detail, the skillful combination of function and form, that truly set Viking weaponry apart. From the pattern-welded swords with their elaborately decorated hilts, to the silver-inlaid axes, each weapon was a testament to the craftsmanship of its creator. The craftsmanship and artistry that went into creating Viking weapons truly set them apart. But no warrior is complete without his armor. Let's explore the defensive gear of the Vikings. While their weapons were impressive, the Vikings also knew the importance of good defense. Their armor was as much a part of their battle gear as their weapons. A key component of Viking armor was the shield, Crafted from sturdy wood, these shields offered protection against a range of attacks. They were lightweight, allowing the warriors to maintain agility and speed during battle. 
Shields were not the only form of defense. Body armor, although less common, played a crucial role in the Viking battle gear. Constructed from materials such as leather and iron, this armor provided an additional layer of protection. The scarcity of body armor wasn't due to lack of skill, but rather the cost. It required not only expensive materials, but also a significant amount of time and craftsmanship to produce. Despite this, the presence of armor in Viking culture signifies their understanding of strategic warfare. They knew that a good offense must be balanced with a solid defense. It was this combination of offensive and defensive strategies that made them such formidable opponents. The Vikings were truly remarkable, not only for their fierceness in battle, but also for their artistry and craftsmanship. Their weapons and armor were a testament to their skills, their culture, and their way of life.